Welcome to Pop Paul's Workshop. In the last video with the Fox Alien Basic Edition CNC machine, we was able to set it up and get a, a project carved, and that was a lot of fun. It turned out great. In today's video, though, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the spindle. The Basic Edition comes with a 60 watt spindle, and we're going to upgrade that to the 300 watt spindle. Once we get it upgraded, we're going to go ahead and carve out a project. So let's get started. A day in the shop with Pawpaw in Pawpaw's Workshop. To support my channel, please go to patreon.com slash Pawpaw's Workshop. In today's video, we're taking the Fox Alien Basic Edition and upgrading it to the 300 watt spindle. Being able to get into the CNC at a very low cost is a fantastic opportunity. So I hope that you will visit the Fox Alien store, check out their website, and see the different possibilities. And when you actually start to compare what's available with the Fox Alien as to other companies, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I know I'm having a lot of fun with the Fox Alien CNC machines. The capabilities are virtually limitless. To start this, we're gonna go ahead and remove this spindle. And all we need to do is just loosen this screw right there. We will lift this up and of course we'll disconnect these wires. Now we'll just get these wires out of the way for the moment and then we'll slip this on out. This sleeve we will no longer need. So we can set that aside. And the new spindle, this is my 300 watt spindle, we'll just go ahead and drop right in place. Then I'll just grab it underneath here and slide it down. That should be just about right. And then I'll take these plugs and plug it back in. Positive will have to go over on the positive side. Negative, of course, will plug into the negative. There we go. That looks real good. That's out of the way. And then I'll just tighten this back up. So this part is finished. Now on the control board itself, there's a couple things we need to change. This is the wire that goes to the spindle and we need to pull this out and slip it over into this slot. And then this switch right here needs to slide over. So anytime that you're using a 300 watt spindle, you need to have this switch to the left and this needs to plug in on the left connector. If you're using a 60 watt spindle, then it switches to the right with this. And if you're using the laser, then you'll have this switch to the right as well. So keep that in mind. The easiest way to remember it with this upgrade, switch to the left and we're using the left port. Now you have the power supply, you'll still need that to be able to control this controller. So now this part is completely set up. Let's go over and set up the remaining parts. Now this is the controller for the 300 watt spindle. And now you do have the speed control here. So you need to be able to set this to the appropriate speed. And this is what will control the actual speed of the spindle. This software does not control it. All the software is gonna do is turn it off and on. So in the last video where we changed the Gerbil setting to be able to operate the spindle, you no longer need to do that. So this is gonna be the control. And then of course you have just the off and on. With the upgrade kit, you have the cable and that cable is gonna plug in right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Then we'll take the other end of the cord and plug it in right here. We'll get the power cord for the controller. We'll plug that in and we'll be ready to test it. So this is very, very easy. Just to give you a recap, we have the new controller that's plugged in right here and it plugs in to the back of the control board you have its own power supply that plugs in here. You make the switch 
This moves over to the left. This plugs into the left outlet. And of course you have the new spindle that is mounted and it's ready to go. So it's a very, very easy upgrade to be able to do. So let's go ahead and get this started now and let's carve a project. One of the optional items that you can get is this offline controller. And should you want to use the offline controller with the basic addition, you can do that also. This plug-in, I'll show you where that goes. And that's really all you need to do is be able to plug this into the control board and you're set and ready to go. Now on the control board, over on the right hand side, you can see right here, this is where it would plug in. Your USB port plugs in here. And then right here, you can plug in that offline controller. Now today I'm gonna use the computer, but I wanna be able to show you that you have a lot of versatility and a lot of options with this basic edition CNC machine by Fox Alien. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the controller. And we'll turn on this. We'll make sure that this is turned all the way up. Now that I have a universal G-code sender set up, I'm gonna go ahead and come over here because I know this operates on the COM5. So I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna hit open. And then from there on the command line, what I want to do is go back and change that spindle control for the spindle speed. So I'm gonna hit the dollar sign, dollar sign. And that is gonna bring up all of the settings. Now, if you look right here, this line 31, that's what I wanna change back to zero. So when you upgrade to spindle, since you have a controller that will control the speed of the spindle, that needs to be changed back to zero. So I'm gonna do that right now. So in the command line right here, it is gonna be the dollar sign 31 equals and zero. And then I'll hit enter. And you'll see that change right down there at the bottom. So that is now set. So the first thing I need to do is be able to unlock this. And then from there, I should be able to move it. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Okay, I'm gonna set that for the 10 millimeters. It's in the millimeters. So let's go ahead and see if we can move this now. And you can see it's moving exactly the way it should. And it's gonna go on the Y axis. And let's check out the Z axis. And that's doing just fine. Now in the last video, I did not show you the homing sequence. So you can hit home right here and it will go through that operation. So it's home on the Z. The X is now done. And there it is. The homing cycle is complete. So now this is actually the machine zero position. Now from here, I can go ahead and move it and set up the work zero position. Now I use this button to be able to home it and that works out real well. Now you can go to the software itself and you can see this dollar sign H, that is the home function. So what I can do is click on that and it will go through the same exact sequence. So that gives you two options to be able to home the machine and get it down to the um, machine zero position. And then from there, I can just go ahead and move it over and set up my project. Now, the next thing I want to show you is I went ahead and unplugged the USB cable to the computer and turned the computer off. And I plugged in the offline controller. Now, when I first plug this in and turn the machine on, you're going to get the alarm. So you're going to hit control. 
and you're going to come right here and unlock it. And then it changes from the alarm to idle. And then from there, we can do the same thing. We can use this button to home it also. So let's do that now. So now we have the machine homed. So from there, I want to be able to move the machine. So I'm going to select move and then the steps. And then here, I'm going to click this and we're going to make this where it will move 10 millimeters. So what I want to do is go to the right, the 10 millimeters, and then we'll go up. So this works the same way. So this is a very, very handy tool to be able to use. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and get one of the um, SD cards. We'll plug it in here and we'll make the first carve. Now they sent this little um, piece of masonite and we're gonna go ahead and use that for our test piece today. And to be able to secure this, I'm gonna use the glue and the tape method. And really all I need is just one piece of tape and that's gonna hold it just fine. So I'll put another piece of tape right here. Now the glue that I'm using is the Starbond glue. This is the thick. You can use the thin or the medium. This is just what I have right now. And just one little bead is all the glue that you need. And then I'm gonna take and spray the accelerator on this. Just a little bit of, will do it. And then I'll place this right on top of it. Push that down, hold it for just a moment, and it will be secure in place and we'll be ready to carve. Now, I do have a link in the description below so that if you want to purchase the Starbond glue, I do have a 15% discount for that. This is a great way to be able to secure your project, and you don't have to worry about that bit ever hitting a clamp. So this is secure now, it's ready to go. Let's get a bit into the spindle and let's do a test carve. The bit that I'm gonna use is this little 16th of an inch down cut bit. That's what I'm gonna use. This is the same bit that we used in the last project. Just snug it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super tight and that will be fine. Now the next thing we'll do is go ahead and move the spindle down to this point for an XY zero um, home position for the workpiece. And I'll use the controller to be able to do that. Now I'm going to change the steps down to one and we're going to lower this down. And we'll use a piece of paper to slip it under and I'm going to change the steps one more time. And that's going to be a point one.
and there it is. It's just touching. That is going to be my X, Y, and my Z zero point. Now what I need to do on this is just go ahead and hit return, and then I want to zero the X, Y, and zero position, and you can see exactly where it is in relationship to our machine home position. So I'm going to set X, Y, and Z. And now it says zero across the board. So that is my point. So now let's get a file. We'll put the SD card in here and we'll be able to load it and carve. And there is a finished product. It carved the Fox Alien without any difficulty at all. And that worked great. Now I realize I had a problem with the camera and I didn't catch her the first time that I uh, carved this. So I ran the exact same file again. And you can see it is carving just absolutely perfect. This is what I wanted to be able to show you. Using the upgraded 300 watt uh, spindle works just fine. And I'm going to be able to get a lot of use out of this uh, carving various projects. Using a small SD card is an excellent way to be able to uh, control the CNC machine. And it makes it where you don't even have to have the computer in the shop. And no internet is required. Well, the upgrade works absolutely fantastic. Carves out the Fox Alien nice. The glue and tape method holds extremely well. There it comes. And I absolutely love this. That also saves your waste board. So I can't wait now. And we'll come up with another project to be able to do. I think I'm gonna leave this upgrade in the machine. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Fox Alien products is that I don't need to have the internet in the shop. I can actually create the files, do all my design work in the comfort of the house, and be able to load it onto the little SD card. And my computer has the slot for the SD card. If not, that's okay. They have the thumb drive adapter where this just plugs right into it, and you can save the file. Then when you come into the shop, all you need to do is bring this one little small disc, plug that into the offline controller, and you can do the carve. I actually love that about the Fox Alien. And don't forget to go over and check out the Fox Alien website. Again, I've got the link down in the description so that you can check it out, see what you like, and if you choose to purchase, that would be fantastic. I don't think you will regret it. This is a great little machine, and they have a variety of different CNC machines to choose from. Being able to get into the CNC at a very low cost is a fantastic opportunity. So I hope that you will visit the Fox Alien store, check out their website, and see the different possibilities. And when you actually start to compare what's available with the Fox Alien as to other companies, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I know I'm having a lot of fun with the Fox Alien CNC machines. The capabilities are virtually limitless. The Fox Alien Basic Edition has proved to be a very good solid machine and a perfect entry level machine to be able to get started with. If you want to be able to test the water, so to speak, and try out the CNC world, I can't think of any better way to do it than with this entry-level machine. It's good and solid. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a very good platform to be able to learn and grow and experiment with the CNC world. And the types of projects that you can do are virtually limitless. Now, if you would care to purchase one of these machines or look further, I have a link down in the description that will take you to the Fox Alien website so that you can explore all of the different options that you have. So if you like the video today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there and the little bell notification next to it so that you won't miss out on any of the videos. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next project, whatever it is.